Hey guys, Ben here and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be talking about something new. We are going to be talking about Fantastic Beasts 3. So if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment and subscribe if you're new so you don't miss any Fantastic Beasts 3 videos later this year as we head towards 2022, which has been officially confirmed that it's going to be coming out in the summer of that year. So yeah, my channel, DCTV, but We've done Harry Potter and Fantastic Beasts videos in the past. A lot of you guys maybe are coming back because you've seen that past coverage before. Obviously, you can go check out that past coverage. But for now, we're going to be talking about the untitled third installment of the Fantastic Beasts franchise because we've got some major breaking news and I had to talk about it. And I know it's been a long time since I made a video on the franchise. That's just because the film came out and there wasn't much news in the meantime. But now we have got some big breaking news for Fantastic Beast number three, and the news is in regards to Johnny Depp. And so, as you guys know, at the end of Fantastic Beast and where to find them, Johnny Depp was revealed to be Grindelwald. That was his real look, that was his real identity, and that continued into second installment of Fantastic Beast, which was Fantastic Beast and the Crimes of Grindelwald, which was personally my favourite. I know. Not as many people liked it compared to the first film, but I really, really liked it and I thought it was amazing. With everything going on right now in regards to Johnny Depp, few people from the Fantastic Beasts franchise, it's not a surprise that we got this news. And the news is that Johnny Depp was asked to step down from being Gellert Grindelwald in Fantastic Beasts 3 due to what is going on with him right now and what's been going on for a long time, even back in the second film, back in the first film as well. So it was kind of surprising that they stuck with him this long, but due to a court case the other day, I think there was some troubles and Warner Brothers was like, okay, this is it. Like we have to get him out of here and we have to recast him. And so that's what they've done. They asked him to step down, he accepted it. I guess maybe he came to some agreement with them and it seemed pretty civil, seemed like he just accepted it and moved on. The big question that you're all here for is what's going to happen with Grindelwald, because Grindelwald is a huge character and he's arguably one of the biggest ones in the new installments of Harry Potter franchise as it is continuing past journeys in the Wizarding World, because, you know, Fantastic Beasts is set back in time, Grindelwald was Dumbledore's friend, and in The Crimes of Grindelwald, we got a young Dumbledore played by Jude Law, and we haven't got to the main bit that they talk about in the Harry Potter films, when we have the big kind of breakup between those two, they have a big fight. And so that is still to come, and we'll have to wait and see as to when that's coming. Could happen in this film, maybe will happen in future films. But it's going to be different because Johnny Depp isn't going to be the face of Grindelwald. And Warner Brothers did confirm, along with this news, that they are recasting Grindelwald. So this brings me to my theory, and I posted about this online on Twitter. Because you remember how they first introduced Grindelwald? He wasn't Grindelwald, he was Percival Graves. And then later, he was revealed and we saw his real identity, and he was played by Johnny Depp. But the first person who played him who was Percival Graves, and yes, it wasn't his true look or his true identity, but it's still someone in relation to him. And so that was played by Colin Farrell, he was Percival Graves. And when he first joined on, he knew he would just be in one film. And so, you know, it's just a identity or a persona for Grindelwald. So could he come back? Could he take over as Grindelwald? And I think due to Warner Brothers using the specific phrase recast in their statement, we'll go over their statement right now. Johnny Depp will depart the Fantastic Beast franchise. We thank Johnny for his work on the films to date. Fantastic Beast 3 is currently in production and the role of Gellert Grindelwald will be recast. The film will debut in theatres worldwide in the summer of 2022 which is a delay from, I believe it was supposed to come out in 2021. Going back to Colin Farrell and we'll get back to the release date and everything like that. Johnny Depp be recast by the original actor who played him. I think this would be the best bet and I think it would be the safest bet because instead of being a full retcon and being like, oh, Grindel will never look like this. This is a person we've seen him disguise himself as before. So I think it would make complete sense if they brought Colin Farrell back due to him actually being him. So what do you guys think about that? Let me know in the comments down below. I really, really think this is the best way to go if they are recasting. 
I have this kind of doubt that they might just go for a completely new person, and that would be a shame, I think. This way, there is more of an explanation because it's someone we've seen himself disguise is a look that we are familiar with, but if they completely recast, it's gonna be very unfamiliar. In terms of Colin's availability, he is currently working on another Warner Brothers production right now. He's working on the Batman, he is playing the Penguin, and so that filming is set to wrap sometime around early next year. And with Fantastic Beasts 3 currently in production, and apparently they don't need to reshoot any of the scenes because I don't believe Johnny has actually shot any of the scenes. So that isn't the problem that they have to go back and film another person in the place of him. So with him working on the Batman finishing early next year, I'm sure they can work out some sort of schedule so that he can return to London, return to England to shoot Fantastic Beasts 3 where they are currently filming right now. And I believe that Batman is over in America. So I think they can make it work considering it's the same production company as Warner Brothers. So surely they can find some sort of way to navigate the schedules between the two projects if Colin Farrell wants to return and if Warner Brothers want him to return. I think they will totally and naturally go for him as their first choice. But if he doesn't want to return, potentially has the ability to be a bit controversial if he's taking over someone's role. But I mean, Johnny took over his role in the first place, so I don't see that as a big problem. And yeah, let's talk about this report from The Wrap on Twitter. They mentioned their source, who is familiar with the situation and is close to the situation, has said that filming for Fantastic Beasts 3 will not be affected, they will just continue shooting and Grindelwald will be in there, but it will be someone else. But Johnny actually never shot any of the scenes, so his recasting isn't going to be a big deal in terms of reshooting anything. It seems like he's just departing the franchise, we'll have someone else in, and they will have the film ready by summer of 2022, when hopefully all the cinemas around the world will be open, and it seems that is likely that they're going to make that date, considering they are shooting right now. Yes, we're in a pandemic and everything, but it will slow production down a little bit, but it won't slow it down that much and they will have extra time because they've given themselves more time. Because I think originally Fantastic Beasts 3 was set for November 2021, which would make it about three years since Fantastic Beasts 2, so The Crimes of Grindelwald. Now it's intended to come out in the summer of 2022. Not a big surprise considering Warner Brothers' film schedule has shifted completely. There was like a two-year gap between Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them and Fantastic Beasts and The Crimes of Grindelwald, but now this gap, by the time we get to the release date in 2022, is going to make it nearly four years since Fantastic Beasts and the Crimes of Grindelwald came out. So that is a long delay that I don't think they anticipated because, yes, they wanted to get out at least like three years after or something. That is always the aim with these films. Obviously, Harry Potter is a different thing because... They were able to get those films out like once every one or two years and, you know, they kind of had this whole mechanism going. Even though they did announce that Fantastic Beasts is going to have like four films, I think it was, or five maybe. And so they've obviously planned them out, but due to the reception of Crimes of Grindelwald and, you know, everything going on with J.K. Rowling and the changes, things behind the scenes have shifted a little bit, but still David Yates is directing it. I have the rest of the cast come back, you will still continue the story from the Crimes of Grindelwald, but instead, this time it's going to be a little bit different from the second installment, perhaps more like the Harry Potter films, because I believe the Harry Potter films weren't actually written by J.K. Rowling, they were written by a screenwriter who adapted it from the book, and she was just like a consultant. And obviously David Yates worked on loads of the Harry Potter films towards the end, and he's directed both of these films. So, I mean, overall, I don't think much is going to change in regards to how Fantastic Beasts 3 turns out. But I think Colin Farrell coming back would be a really good way to sort out this issue of recasting Grindelwald. They're not just like throwing him away and forgetting about him because he is such a major part of Fantastic Beasts. And, you know, the whole story is literally about him and Newt somehow colliding. Whereas in the background, the main story is really Grindelwald and Dumbledore and their fight and leading towards the events of Harry Potter and the events of Voldemort coming to life and he was before him and obviously that's some sort of inspiration. In the Harry Potter films he actually goes up to him so eventually 
we gotta get to the point where Harry Potter leaves him off. So that's it for the video guys, thank you guys so much for watching, if you want more Fantastic Beasts videos please be sure to subscribe, yes I'll be making them more and more as we head towards 2022 summer so it's about like a year and seven to nine months away i'm sure with them filming there'll be some sort of leaks soon then as we get closer to the release date obviously the trailers will come out and i'll break those trailers down as i did with the crimes of green award so thank you guys so much for watching and i'll catch you guys later goodbye I see red.